so we are going to start the next session, which is on the life sciences, agri and uh, biotech. Uh, after the wonderful session on uh, on uh, the uh, uh, SIT and uh, automation, so I would like to uh, invite all the uh, panelists, uh, all the uh, speakers here. Before that, I will I would like to introduce myself. I'm Sati Satyarthi from uh, Bueller India Limited. Uh, I'm heading R&D in India as well as. Uh, uh, for two business units, I am uh, globally he heading R&D for uh, Germany R&D Center, for China R&D Center, India R&D Center. So we'll start with uh, uh, Dr. J.N. Verma, who is a managing director, uh, Life Care Innovations. I would like to invite you on the stage, please. Uh, and Dr. Uh, Rama Mukherjee, uh, who is managing director of ARA Healthcare. Uh, Mr. Jay Bully Bulingam, who is Senior Vice President, Global Dep De uh, Determinant Inc. USA. Then Dr. Panjar Pankaj Sarma, CEO, uh, Lead Invent. And Dr. K.R.S. Krishnan, Director, Technical HL Life Care. I think Dr. J. N. Uh, Verma is still not here. So we'll start the session. Uh, possibly he will join later. Uh, and we have Tapas Chakravarti, Vice President, Mayor Biotech, ACJ and Keystone Business Park, India. Please. To start with, I will just give a brief introduction about uh, uh, my company, Bueller India uh, Limited. In fact, Bueller uh, AG. Uh, globally, we are present uh, in 140 countries. So we are present. Uh, uh, in our industry for 153 years, and we have been innovating in uh, almost every part of life, every every uh, field of life that is affecting us every day. So instead of going through different businesses, and different uh, industry, and different technology that we develop or we are in, uh, I will run a video which is uh, uh, very short and that will describe the different technological aspects that we are uh, into and uh, how we serve the world all over uh, in different parts of life. On, future? How can we boost food production in a sustainable manner? How do we tackle food inequalities so that everyone can enjoy a healthy and balanced diet? Can we continue to grow, prosper and progress without causing climate change and environmental destruction? In short, what needs to be done today if the world of tomorrow is to survive? How do we make sure that life is worth living for ourselves and the generations to follow all across the globe 24-7? Bueller is a company that already plays a major role in mastering the challenges of our time. Bueller employs cutting-edge technology, but that's not all. Bueller provides full-spectrum logistics and organizational services, but that's not all. Bueller always looks for the best solution in terms of both economy and ecology. But that's not all. Bueller has a local presence all across the globe, 
It analyzes the market opportunities and supports its customers in every stage of product development. Bühler speaks their language and is familiar with their culture. 3,000 of its 6,500 employees are there for local customers 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And it is the sum of all its capabilities that makes Bühler such a unique partner anywhere in the world. Bühler doesn't just deliver a solution, it always comes up with the solution behind the solution. This is just as true for large customers as it is for small ones, such as this family-run firm in Asia, which decided to complement its trading activities by entering the rice milling business. Bühler developed and produced a compact, state-of-the-art rice processing system, and from receipt of the incoming raw materials right through to the packaging of the end product, every step in the process was engineered to the special requirements of this small enterprise. The partnership with Bühler has paid off. The new rice mill now supplies 10% of its target market in Shanghai. This shows how a small business can benefit from the same technology on which major players also rely. Such as this South American producer of flour, biscuits and pasta. This was a project with extremely complex requirements. translated the company's vision into reality by not only delivering the machines but also erecting a complete food production plant on the greenfield site and what's more committed to finding a truly holistic solution Bühler integrated all of the processes in the import and export logistics chain, from the unloading of ships to transporting raw materials to the silos through to grain processing, every process can be steered and monitored centrally. Bühler is also a proven, reliable partner for companies in the specialty food business. A well-known Canadian biscuit manufacturer was faced with the decision of whether to start producing chocolate itself, a product it had previously bought in. The basic idea was transformed into a modern production facility which allows the client to boost his added value while still enjoying maximum quality control over his products. From the humble cocoa bean to the finished chocolate chip. As the example of a Swiss flour milling company shows, Bühler is able to respond with great flexibility to the challenges posed by a highly advanced market. Bühler keeps the customer up to date with the latest developments in processing and refining technology, which enable the customer to manufacture new products, thus giving him a competitive edge in the marketplace. But the world is more than just a marketplace. It is also our home, the space in which we live. Bühler has the answers to ecological challenges too. This German automobile manufacturer aims to lower fuel consumption by optimizing the weight of its cars. In collaboration with the customer, Bühler accomplished the previously unthinkable. It abandoned traditional production methods in favor of high-tech die-casting machinery that can produce ready-formed light metal engine blocks in just under two minutes. Cutting the engine weight by 50% has created a more environmentally friendly car. 
The reason Bühler excels in each of its technologies is the company's daily pursuit of improvement. The result? Innovations in the nanotechnology and biotechnical industries, as well as in fibers, paints, plastics, or in electronics and optics. And Bühler stands out in all of these areas, not just as the company with the best machines and the latest technologies, but also as the company with the best ideas and solutions. Because there is always a need for someone who understands your processes, who can bundle them and move things forward. Only a company offering services and innovations you know you can rely on tomorrow is one you can trust today. You can rely on Bula, day for day, round the clock, 24-7 on every continent, everywhere on Earth. So now I will touch upon, uh, in line with the theme and track that we have today, some of the latest innovations that Wheeler has done. And either these technologies are being introduced or has been introduced already in the market. Uh, these are being launched all across the world. And there is a major contribution of India R&D in all these innovations. We know today that uh, we are struggling with hunger in, the, in many countries. But there is another form of hunger called hidden hunger. Many of us are not aware with, uh, of the word. But this is actually a striking or this is a problem in many of the countries where hunger itself is not there. Or majority of the part of the country where we think that hunger is not there. In India, we we see that hunger is always in the villages and the poor, undeveloped parts of the India. But hidden hunger is everywhere. It is in cities, it is in the towns, it is in, it is in, in uh, poor, uh, undeveloped uh, parts of the country. Uh, and hidden hunger is nothing but the malnutrition, the, the uh, deficiencies of vitamins and the minerals that we need for our body to, uh, to be physically fit and mentally healthy. Uh, <clears throat> this hidden, hidden uh, hunger is actually identified as one of the major cause of uh, uh, lack of development, uh, of not using the human resources that we are having uh, in, in the plenty in many of the countries uh, to the full potential. So if we overcome this kind of issues, we will be able to use the uh, human resources and the talents that we have in the country to the full potential and that will definitely help us to grow much better and, and, and much in a constructive way uh, to build the country. Uh, one of the product that, uh, one of the technology that we have developed is called Nutri-Rice. I hope all of us know about rice because rice is a staple food for us. Almost two billion people in the world eat rice almost every day. And unfortunately, rice, milled rice, especially what we cook at home, has got certain deficiencies. Uh, it is low in uh, micronutrients and serves primarily as a source of carbohydrate, which is a daily consumable energy source. Another unfortunate factor is during rice milling and during the processing that we uh, start from piety to the milled rice which we cook, we lose a lot of nutritious elements vitamins and minerals. You can see a small graph on the right side that shows what are the losses that we have. Details are there, you can find on the internet, but we lose a lot of nutrients and minerals and vitamins in, in the process of milling. So what's the solution? So Bula has developed a solution along with one of the partner uh, called DSM uh, to fortify the rice. That means we take out the broken rice through the processing of milling because milling always creates some broken rice because of honey the rice or rice which is weak. Uh, we take them out, we make them powder, and we further add nutrients, macronutrients, and minerals, and put it back into the rice. But how to put it back into rice? That is the big question, and that is where the Bueller came into the picture. So Bueller has developed a technology where you can, put, you can uh, extrude the rice kernels like uh, grains out of the powders. So you can see from this machine what is coming out is looking like almost rice kernels. You can shape it what, whatever way the, uh, the way you want because there are different varieties of rice. 
there are basmati long grains there are medium grains there are short grains so you can have different shapes but finally you can fortify from those powders which is already nutrified which are fortified with the nutrition minerals and the nutrients you can see the picture on the right side which is basically looking like almost like rice kernels and you can mix in the common rice there have been two major uh, trials done already in china and india and that has been proven successful over a period of time which has given a better uh, health both mentally and physically to the children of the schools you can see how we have uh, we can mix the grains of the uh, these fortified rice grains into right proportion with the milled rice so that you can have a balanced diet even if you eat only rice this is this is a necessary requirement majority of the uh, rice growing countries where we actually don't get enough nutrients minerals and and vitamins from different sources especially from the in the vegetarian uh, uh, diet uh, we have purposefully colored these grains uh, this was a demand from the market to color it so that actually uh, it looks good for the customer or for the user that there is a nutrified rice which we should not miss in the in the uh, uh, in the sample uh, in the uh, uh, on the table but it can be made exactly same color as grains as rice grains there is another technology called parsim uh i i know many of us know that you know pulses are precious source of protein for example but most of us don't know that it has all, also lot of anti nutrients which reduces the uh, the benefits of the protein or reduces the presence of the uh, uh, micronutrients and the and the protein how it does it it actually uh, reduces the availability or bioavailability of the micronutrients it also reduces the digestibility of the protein now we have been eating dal every day we have been eating pulses every day but we don't know this fact and because of this even if we have enough protein in in pulses we eat also but we don't get it so what's the solution that we have we have a solution called germination we we germinate we do a sprout at home and sometimes you get in hotels also but how many people have time uh to do this in our fast life we hardly get time to uh, germinate grains or pulses and eat it so there are certain uh, practical issues because of that uh, we are not able to use this uh, uh, technology and also this is not a scalable this is you have to do in a small quantity at home or or in a hotel and you have to serve every a small uh, number of people but this cannot be going to the table as grains it has to be served immediately so there are issues like uh, high moisture content which reduces actually shelf life uh, there is a food safety issues because if you don't do it right it goes actually wrong rather than helping you it can create problems for the health and then uh, we have a quantity which is insufficient for the entire population this cannot be scaled so most of us especially in cities also in the towns we don't get time to sprout and eat and many of them are not aware also that this is what is required so builder came as a uh, with a industrial industrial solution for this where we partially germinate the grains and dry it back to look like a, and having a property of normal grains or normal dal which you can cook just like what we cook the the normal dal other dal commercially available pulses now <clears throat> advantage of this is there are many advantages i am just listing some of them Uh, these are the things that i have already mentioned what are the nutritional benefit that we get from germinated grains we again get it here so we have enhanced nutrition because vitamin a content increases anti nutrients reduces which increases the bio availability of the nutrients in the natural uh, grains uh, it has reduced rof which has again effect on the uh, shelf life palatability and the health it has improved sensory properties as well so taste is also better and then it has long shelf life it is just like normal grains normal dal so you can you can it can be scalable to tons of uh, uh, of uh, material and then it can be distributed just like normal pulses and you can then it can be cooked so finally what what you gain on the table has got certain advantages these are just highlight this is a test done by cftri uh, 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 central food technology research institute in mysore india 
and this has been cross verified by many universities in the across the world so you can see there are certain uh, min, vitamins and minerals that are increasing in multiples 900 percent increase in b1 230 percent increase in b3 so and similarly the minerals 110 percent increase 150 percent increase and also there is a huge reduction in anti nutrients which you can see on the top top two uh, rows now these benefits can be directly passed to the user at the end uh, this is one of the technologies which has really uh, which is really going to change uh, the way we intake the food grains today because the same thing has been applied for all other grains and uh, we will be coming with the products and solutions for all other grains so this is just a glimpse of the uh, technology that we have the third one which is atta which is a local uh, wheat flour that we eat every day everybody understands i guess here what is the difference between atta and maida so you have wheat flour which we call maida and another wheat flour which we call it atta the major difference between them is the the maida is made out of endospun the the white portion of the uh, wheat whereas atta is mostly whole wheat flour but also it has a particular processing which causes a uh, particular taste particular physical properties which is good for our health and our taste we we like it now there is a no industrial solution actually uh, in india or anywhere actually which can replace the traditional method that we have what is the traditional method we have two stones rub grinding uh, the grains in between and the effect of that is though we eat atta which is quite safe we also eat some grain with uh, some powder with a stone particles which are not good for health so it is not food safe actually it has got very long term implication on the health and uh, uh, fitness of the person and also the mental uh, fitness of the person because it has many things which is really going to affect uh, both uh, body and mind it is also inconsistent sometimes quality is very poor sometimes good so we came up and and major the one of the major challenge to achieve atta kind of properties was to understand what is atta to understand what is atta property none of the literatures whether in india or elsewhere so that what are the properties in atta which is different than maida which is different than pure wheat flour so we had to do almost 3 to 4 years of research to find these out and this was jointly done with with universities and once we once we knew that what is really required it, we came up with the technology to to achieve that and that is where uh, we have recently launched and we are still in the process of penetrating in the market with some key uh, customers with key, key parties in the market big players uh, who are going to or who are already installing our machineries to uh, produce atta so in future i think with all these techn three technologies we can have very good rice roti and dal so with that i will i will close my session and then uh, i will close my uh, speech and then i will switch over to uh, other uh, speakers on the dais so uh, i would like to invite dr ramamukherjee who is managing director uh, from ara healthcare